the moment we've been waiting for. Luke Burt about to send the ball skyward. And there it is, the start of the 2001 National Rugby League Grand Final, taken on the bounce by Robbie O'Davis, and the game is That's underway. And uh, Billy Queden has taken Pulled out up, past Marcus the 10 metre line and out near the 20 metre line for the first hit up, and now That's it goes good. away That's to good. Big Pull Matt back. Parsons. Let's look at some of this early defence as the Knights running from right to left as we view the action. Now go to O'Davis, twitching forward to the 30 metre line, and he's going to be wrapped three, up by three, Wagon three, and here, Drew, 15 metres from halfway middle of the field. Ball played. Scampering from dummy half and well as Bagheeras picks up a few Big metres to be tackled. Two metres from halfway. Now to Johns on the back. That good rolling play. And he feathers a long kick downfield. It's a beauty. Hodgson's going to pick it up. Seven out from his own line. Races back over the 10. Oh, he almost splits them, does Brett Hodgson, with a dash back to the 20 metre line. Butner fires a pass across field. It goes to Jamie Lyon. And he wiggles on the inside Three. to be 23 metres out from his own Three. line. Three. Drew scampers away from dummy half. Gives it to Taylor. Then onto Wagon. And Wagon has caught on the 30 metre line and 10 in from touch on the left side and uh, not a bit of indecision there Drew sends by Licky down the left with a beautiful ball he just took one pace to the open and almost a six cents he just flopped it back down that left side and on the back of that they're on halfway through Kalis back to Drew on the fingertips of Taylor on to Butner a harbour bridge pass out to Jamie Lyon down the right he burns and he's tackled about 33 out from the line Good tackle coming across in cover defence by Mark Hughes. Okay, Josh, the ball across okay, from Moody to Butner. And Butner spoons a crossfield bomb that's going to come down, is it? A brilliant take underneath it by Tamana Tahu. Oh, some great skill there by Tamana Tahu. He got up above Bailiki and took the ball. Already we've seen he's an opportunity now for the Knights. But Billy Peaton's tackled 10 short of the halfway. But already we've seen Bailiki and Lyons on opposite sides of the field into the open territory. And they're on halfway. The Newcastle Knights, no scoring the grand final 2001 they go through big Matt Parsons and he rolls forward with some aggression to 42 metres out from the line met in front ball goes to Johns on the right he keeps it going that way finds Simpson who started in every game this year and he's tackled 33 metres out from the line back the other way they go to Johns he's going to bomb for the corner it looks useful Moody's underneath it Moody leaps a brilliant take but he's going to be tackled as he knows Tackles a penalty mid-air tackle in the end goal area and he eluded the tackler brilliantly stepping back into the in goal area and then circled around Ben Kennedy he was going to get back into the field to play anyway sensational take though from Jackson Moody a oh, beautiful diffusing of the bomb there it was a wobbly one from Andrew Johns Moody got up there a former Nova Castor in Jason Moody took it well and he was tackled mid-air by Adam McDougall as a result the penalty went correctly from the whistle of Bill Harrigan they find touch and they'll tap the ball 30 metres away from their own line and they go across field it's going to be spread straight away to Butner and then on to Waggett he's caught though in the middle of the field before they could advance the ball across the pass ground they're looking for that quick spread though to get on the outside Drew gives it away to Kalis and then on to Hodgson no pass under pressure yes he does and puts it down well there was a pass under pressure and so the mistake comes from the Parramatta Eels giving the Knights a chance for first blood and Johns goes out to Hughes on the left Hughes over the 30 punches That's into the defensive one. line tackle 25 yeah. metres out 15 in from quick. touch on the left McDougal no, no, dummy no, no, half no, no score no, no, on the board again they bring Parsons into the fray spun around no. in the tackle and he's upended yeah. by Kalis and Co 17 out from the goal line Baderas now goes across to Johns turns it inside to Perry Perry over the, the 10 line, metre three. line he's the only line, nine David. out chance for the Knights to draw first blood they go to Johns Johns almost cracking them Johns spinning twisting oh, he's almost dead Johns, it was almost a miracle, but Nathan Hindmarsh in front with Butner. Now they go back the other way on the fingertips of Rudder. Spoons the pass out to Peden. Peden, the decoy goes in front of him. Peden's in to score the try. He's in to score. Are they going to have a look at it? He's in to score. I think they're going to have a look to see if there was an obstruction call. They are Wilco, but this will be a try for mine. This will be a try to Billy Payton. And they set the ball from one side of the field to the other. And it came after a mistake from Brett Hodgson. He was under pressure. He threw it to a player under pressure. They lost the ball. And Newcastle have scored for mine. There was a good pass from Rudder. The ball went on the outside to Billy Payton. He went straight through. He That was not a shepherd. Absolutely no shepherd. He then was able to push away despite the attention of the tacklers. And he has scored. And that will be a try. That will be a try there because Peden, his footwork was very, very good. Michael Butner went for the player and that was Ben Kennedy who came through as a decoy yes. and that is no try. If they're going to award one last week, 
uh, when Parramatta scored. That is a try for your life. There was just the wrong footing there by Billy Peden, and that will be a try. They went for Kennedy. They didn't count on the skill and the attack of Bill Peden. That's where they've gone wrong there. They were closely marking Ben Kennedy, and as a result, they're actually anxiously waiting at the screen. But this will be a try. Bill Peden has scored, and he has scored this about 14 metres in from touch, and this will be a try. They cannot deny this try. Uh, Bill Peden, the veteran, the lock, and he played in the 97 grand final. They wait, they watch. Gee, they're making a big call here, Daryl Brayman. I agree with Gibbs, John Gibbs entirely here. There should be a try. Both players were committed to that player who was the decoy. It was another perfect decoy run, this time from Big Ben Kennedy, Daryl. I agree as well. He had no intention, Jamie Lyon, of going for Peden. He was always going for Kennedy, but it's, I start getting a little bit nervous when they take so long to That's make a... up their mind. This has been going for a minute now. Here we go. Here's the decision. Bottom from... up video referee's got to say try. And it is a try. The Knights lead 4 0 with the kick to come over the Parramatta Hills. And the reason for that try, I will repeat, apart from the fact that Brad Hodgson has come up with a very bad error, putting a player under enormous pressure and losing the ball, is that they were marking Ben Kennedy. They didn't account, they didn't count on the brilliance, the attacking brilliance and potency of Billy Peden. They all raced in to get Ben Kennedy. A lot of the pre match plan would have centered on Ben Kennedy's shoulders. And guess what? Billy Peden was able to elude them. He did a great job. Michael Butner was there. And coming in field was Jamie Lyon. And Butner really had an opportunity. There's one other player underneath, and that was Brad Drew. He missed the tackle. Lyon got back to recover, and they couldn't do so. So now, about 18 metres in for a touch, Andrew Johns an opportunity to extend the lead. And Andrew Johns, who was kicking them with his eyes closed last week, he moves in, 19 out from goal. Moves in and yes. flat strikes it well between the uprights. He just boomed up between the uprights and only crossed the crossbar by about two and a half metres. Not even that. So the Knights 6 lead the Eels nil on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard. We'll go to Daryl Brayman on the sideline for Reem Hotwater. Well, that's just been a great start for the Knights. The, the, the good thing about it from their point of view is we've seen very little of Andrew John with Sean Rudrew threw the ball across. Samana Tahu has had a great start, took a great bomb, and from that point on, earlier than that, he made a great one-on-one -on -one tackle on Violecki when it needed to be to made. Line, I think we should line. give a bit of credit, though, to Andrew Johns, Darrell, because he came up with a big run close to the line, quick play of the ball, they sent it out wide through runner. And that came on the back of that error, too, from Hodson. They put the ball down, pass under pressure. The Knights work it down the right side, too, and I tell you what, they're tracking in the early stages. They're 11 metres away from the halfway line. Parramatta just waiting for them to come and look at Joss That's Perry cool. hitting the advantage line and taking them over halfway. It's enormous. They're 48 metres out from the line. Flat ball across field to Johns. He's going to kick at ricochets. This could be dangerous. Chasing through as Kennedy. He dives on the ball. And there's going to be six to go. 22 out from the line. They've got numbers on the left rudder. Sails a pass out to Peyton. He's going to be jammed by line. 11 out from the goal line. I tell you what, Parramatta with some thinking to do. Baderas down the shorter side. Gives it away to Hughes. Ducks and tries to drive through. No room. Seven metres out from the goal line. Here's Baderas dummy half. Is McDougal. McDougal angling across field. The uprights in front. Does a full 360. Does another one. Oh, it's a 720. Oh, he was back line. to the start Stand again. Up. The Sydney to Hobart. Seven metres out from the line. They go to Johns. He keeps it going across field to runner. He gives the ball away. Simpson scores. It's number two. It's 10 0 on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard with a spectacular opening to the Newcastle Knights. After seven minutes of play, 10 0, would you believe, and a kick to come. What about the hands? Jones on the outside of Rudder. Rudder then throwing the ball on the outside, and Violicky and Taylor caught out there, and it was a straight running of Steve Simpson on the fringe, and he terrorised them. He went straight through them. They couldn't hold him up. Jason Taylor delicately tried to hold on. This was always going to be possibly the Achilles heel for Parramatta. They went that way and Simpson hit the line at pace and he came slightly back at the angle and Jason Taylor just was not strong enough to make the tackle. He just could not make the tackle and really determination, grit determination by Steve Simpson's got him over the line. But what about the passing? But Darius, Johns, Rudder, Troy when Simpson went over the top of Jason Taylor. What an unbelievable start to this match. Unbelievable is right as we watch now Johns with the ball placed 16 metres in from touch on the right side 19 metres out from goal and Johns surveys the woodwork raises the eyes 
and now moves in to strike the ball again. Flat, hard, but he misses. Hooks it across the face of goal. He'll be disappointed with that. Daryl Brayman on the sideline for Remont Water. It is the Knights 10, though. The Eels nil after eight and a bit minutes of play on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard. Well, that could well come back to bite them. The Eels are a side renowned for their tenacity, but oh, haven't they started on fire? The Knights and Rudder throwing the last pass to both tries. A remarkable start from him. I'll tell you where their problem lies early. Up the middle of the ruck, the Knights, the much maligned Knights pack, are just steamrolling them in the opening 10 minutes. Well, the Knights have the ball from the kickoff Knight again. Yeah, that was an incredible set in. from the kickoff Run. that set up that, Darrell. Absolutely correct. They just motored down Parsons the centre of the ruck. Perry. Parsons yeah. and Perry, and it's a quick That's play of the balls that's setting them up for them, Wilco. They're just shy oh, of the 20 oh. metre line now. Butner in uh, over Parsons this time. Kennedy now with that veering run. Look, he's almost slipped them again up the middle oh. there. It's surgical yeah. currently, and 20 metres from halfway. Yeah. Parramatta shore it up. The ball goes from Baderas away to his right side, that's and four, the tackle up. made on Pete. About 11 metres away from the halfway line, isn't he? involved in the game early on. Kick downfield from Johns. Finds a bit of room behind Moody. It's a good looking kick. Moody watches it bounce. 15 out from his own line. They need a bit of continuity with the football, and Parramatta. Up, the last time up. they put it down was Brett Hodgson. I don't think they've had it since then. No, they haven't, Wilco. And they're getting back very, very slowly here, Parramatta. They just want to roll their sleeves up and do a little bit of hard work here. Hang on to the ball and get their confidence because at the moment they've got no confidence. Also give credit to the desire and the hunger of Ben Kennedy. When there was a kick put through by Newcastle, it was tapped. There was six again because Kennedy got there, he was That's desperate ball, for the ball. Nine metres from halfway, Nathan Kalis takes the Eels forward, now it goes away to Vela on the left, left side, Five and he powers forward go. over halfway. We'll At the last go. tackle though, they're 45 metres out from the line. Ball goes across field and a kick, a sort of flat kick from Hodson, goes past the winger, he's played out at his Tahu, goes back to pick it up, 10 out from his own line, runs back, there's a phalanx of Parramatta players yeah, there, back. and Taylor drops I'm down around his kneecaps, and Kalis finishes up up over the top as we watch Roddy, or Robbie O'Davis yeah. now, twitching and skipping up to the 30 metre line again quick play the balls now and the Parramatta side retreating and up to uh, Mark Kennedy and they do well with him this time 12 metres from halfway looking to scraggle clear of the tackle he does so the shorter side they're going to operate here with Rudder and uh, they go down that short side but only make 7, 8 metres nonetheless still posing a few questions to the Parramatta side play the ball on halfway they go the shorter side again here's Hughes Hughes might get McDougall away looked to have a foot on the touchline when he received the ball maybe not edges back in field and 33 out from the goal line he's taken the ground, so some exploration of very narrow blinds as they go to Johns. He's going to bomb all on side, kick downfield, pressure on Bird, and he takes it comfortably. Two out from his own line, and he's hit over the top. And he's going to play the football two meters out from his own line. Via Licky dances forward up to the 10 and beyond. He's going to be wrapped up. Big tackle by Perry. Quick play the ball, scooped up it is by Drew, or rather Hodgson, I should say. Gives it away down that left side. No way through again. Stinging Knights defense. Perry was in over the top, and underneath there there's a fine tackle from Putin. They push it two crosses, passes across the field and find a Nathan Hindmarsh. He's going to be driven back as well. Oh, this is sensational defence from the Knights early on, and there's going to be uh, what is there here from Bill Harrigan? Blood bin, I think. Blood bin? It is a blood bin, and uh, Bill Harrigan just slows things down here for a while. It will be a Parramatta play the ball. Tackle four, 21 metres out from their own line, and Newcastle is putting all of the questions to Parramatta at this stage. And I've got to say, after 12 minutes of play, Parramatta at this stage haven't got many answers. 21 metres away from their own line, Parramatta. You're absolutely right, John. And I think a lot of the crowd's stunned at the opening here. There's a kick downfield, looking for a 40-20. It'll go close. Robbie O'Davis picks it up. Eight in from touch, and on his 20 metre line. He's in full stride as well. The man who scored twice in the 97 grand final. He's tackled 12 metres away from halfway. Scooped up it is by Hughes. On to McDougal. A veering dangerous run up the centre of the ruck again. And they are finding more space there. Tackled 48 metres out from the line. Up to play it. Hughes flat pass to Kennedy. He oh, drives into gear as Kennedy picks up the advantage line on another four. And they go through now. Baderas. And there's going to be a penalty for a little ankle grab. And it's Brad a Drew. penalty to the Knights. Brad Drew was hanging on to Ben Kennedy. Ben Kennedy coming on the surge was almost over the advantage line and away he's been doing it so successfully all the year and Brad Drew just tried to slow it up a little bit and couldn't help himself he just had another little grab and Bill Harrigan said I'm going to penalise you there and that's a very important one so 32 metres out just to the side of the uprights Andrew Johns will try and extend the lead currently the Knights 10 the Eels nil after 12 minutes of play on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard and this Newcastle side is playing 
out of their socks and they are not giving Parramatta a look in. Without any shadow of a doubt, it has been one way traffic to the northern end of the field, to the northern end of the flame end. And we're going to watch Johns now, see if he's got the radar working as he kicks towards that northern end from 31 metres out. He strikes it towards the uprights and raises the flags for a 12 point lead to the Newcastle Knights after 13 minutes of play in the first half. The Knights 12, the Eels nil on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard will go down to the sideline for Remont Waterdale Bowman. Well, that was Bill Harrigan at his net picking best. That was fair to come, just a penalty, maybe a 50 percenter. He did have his foot hand on his foot, but he got away with it. But let me tell you, I think Parramatta would be glad they gave up the two points. They've been carved up the middle of the rucks at the moment, and they've got no answer. Well, the uh, Knights out to the 10 metre line and uh, they're going to be held, but still the balance of a game can swing uh, very, very quickly. Should a possession change hands in a position like this and the, Knight, and the Knights can see to try a hit it on the ball. They haven't had the ball in uh, an attacking They've position. They've had no field position whatsoever. Oh. And here they are corridoring, corridoring it down the short side. Whether they go open or short side, they're doing it well and they're mixing it up, Newcastle. And they're doing a lot of short side raids. So they've uh, obviously picked on some Achilles heel or perceived Achilles heel there in the ruck on the shorter side because they are peppering it. Kennedy with another ranging, beautiful run to the halfway line where he's tackled a metre short. Baderas gives it to Johns and he kicks from halfway and down it's taken by Hodgson, five out from his own line. Look at the Knights. There are nine across the park. In fact, ten across the park, just about. No, nine, right with the first number. And he's tackled just shy of the 20 metre line. So it was a good chase. Taylor fires the ball away to his left, picks up Moody and he is absolutely jammed. Oh, that was a ribcage rattler, that was. 25 metres out from his own line. Nathan Hindmarsh now goes for a bit of crush down that left side. Still not full of pep and zip at the moment. And there's 17 metres from halfway. Drew scampers out of dummy half. He's going to be cornered 11 from halfway in the middle of the field. Some great defence by Josh Perry. He came up with a rib rattle. He's come up with another good tackle there on Brad Drew. Here goes Taylor looking for a 40-20. It's a long raking kick. Tahu has it covered though. And he picks it up 11 out from his own line. And nine comfortable metres in from touch. He just saunters back to the defensive line. Line, and at the moment, the Knights are just controlling this game and the uh, Parramatta side forced to kick from deep within their own zone virtually or at least their side of halfway. And the Knights are working the metres back comfortably. They go the shorter side again. Kennedy calling the ball and look at him rolling forward to halfway again. 12-0 the Knights over the Earls. The ball played. Throw Davis passes inside to uh, Big Matty Parsons and he climbs into them to the 40 metre line. 40 out the Knights, leading by 12. Baderas to Johns, wheels back to that ruck again, goes the shorter side. Here goes Kennedy, can't roll through. They tighten up through Butner. 29 out from the line. Last tackle. Johns is going to bang it into touch, is he? Yes. Seven metres out from the goal line and into touch there and a Cool bit of play from Andrew Johns. Not going for the nth degree play, says, we'll just pop it down here and uh, he stick it to Parramatta in defence for a while. I'll tell you what he was trying to do. He was trying to hit Jason Moody. He, he was, was absolutely kicking it at Jason Moody, and he I thought an impetuous Jason Moody might have played at the ball, but Moody, he got out of the way. He said, oh, he was frightened. He was going for him, Wilco. They get a breather now, Parramatta, and they, play, they feed the scrum 10 metres out from their own line. So after 16 minutes of play, it's a Knights 12, the Eels nil on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard and Parramatta have it 10 away from their own line they're in trouble and they're being swamped at the moment the ball goes to Taylor nowhere to go Taylor turned back on the inside he's jammed 14 meters out from his own line by Andrew Johns and also Baderas. Here goes the wagon trying to get away from them, but uh, they're just not finding any room, the Parramatta side, nor any big rolling forward plays. And Nathan Hindmarsh takes it up. He's met by Simpson, one of the try scorers, and Pleaton the other one. 21 metres from halfway, middle of the field. Dummy half as Drew just fires it away to Butner. He kicks downfield. Long chase for O'Davis. Will it be a 40 20? No, O'Davis covers the ground majestically to field. Over his 10 he goes after trooping back, back to the 20. Good well, coverage from O'Davis because that ball needed one more touch. Oh, bounced Daryl Brayman and it was in a touch. Oh, he's going beautifully, isn't he, Robbie O'Davis? I'll tell you, he's disappointing me in the Parramatta side at the moment. They're both outstanding players. The front rowers are letting them down. Didn't see Kalis in that set. Did not have a ruck, Nathan Kalis. I've got a massive rap on him, but he needs to get involved in this game. He's the captain. 
10 metres away from the halfway line. Ball goes now to Rudder and he surges forward, carrying players with him. He's wrapped up on the halfway line. Ball has played it. Look at them. Look where the momentum is from the Knights. And that was Perry again. And Newcastle is dictating every facet of play. And I've got to say, Parramatta is allowing them to do so. Kick downfield from Giles. It's a spiralling bomb. It's venomous. Smart to Hodgson. Takes it. He does take it. Behind the goal line, adjacent to the dead ball line, and then he fell over the dead ball line after affecting the catch too, and that was one of those wicked, spiralling Andrew Johns bombs that moves shape about three metres away from your body on the way oh, down. That, that would have been a, a really dicey one when it was in the air. In the end, it went too deep. Here's Jamie Lyon now, up towards the halfway. They want a penalty. Parramatta is baying for a penalty. Good run there by Burke. Well, they're on the halfway line, Parramatta. First time they've had a bit of a start with the ball, and they're 40 metres out from the line. 40 out from the line, up to play the football. They go to Drew, and Drew sails a dangerous harbour bridger across field that had intercept with Leonard, but it was taken by Wagon. 35 out from the line, Drew scampering on the last, the chip bombs, underneath it is McDougall, Moody leaps, takes it brilliantly, flicks up the pass, it's lost backwards, it's behind, diving on the baller's line, the referee's going to rule, what? He's got a real loss forward. forward, fellas. We have a change over here. Oh. Right decision. It's the right decision, we'll go. Jason Moody got up above Adam McDougal, took the ball, and he knew it was the last tackle. He desperately hard try to get it out. Change and over it, the And he's thrown it forward. It went mark. forward. I'll tell you what, it would have been worth a look at, but it, I think it was propelled initially forward. Uh, yeah. But, but it was exaggerated, and it's right under the nose yeah. of Daryl Brown. We'll get his opinion. It was exaggerated because Moody was going forward when he tried to toss it back. Let's go to yeah. Daryl Brown down inside for Rimbot Water. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what, I think it was worth a look at, John. I think he got it right, Harrigan, but I think it was worth a look at. I'll tell you what, I'm going to exonerate from any criticism. Jason Moody is having a blinder for the Eels. Yep, he is uh, indeed. But uh, it might well have been worth a look. Thanks very much, Daryl Brown. As we watch the Knights, 10 metres away from the halfway line again, eating metres out of that centre of the ruck again. And they're over halfway. Yeah, well, that's another go. 10 or 11 metres. Not all that easy, mind you, but they've still managed to gain them. The they're terrace. 45 metres out from the line. Sure they go the to Johns. Johns runs back on the inside, though. He's got to be Fine used to the turf by well. Marsh Nathan. And he's tackled 38 metres out from the line. Now it's with Rudder. 40 metres out. He bombs, and that's useful as well. Who wants it? Moody. He's under it and drops it. Drops it. It's play on, and it's going to be picked up. That's a knock on against Moody, first of all. And it's going to be a Knight's nice feed, 10 on. metres out from the line, I think for sure and certain. Knock on, Parramatta. That could have been play on there, Wilco, because I think it ricocheted off. Jason Moody had knocked it on into the head of Ben Kennedy. It was a falcon, and it should have just about been play on because he knocked it on. He hasn't played at it with his hands. I think he should have let it go now. Ben Kennedy was taken out of play. They should have got a penalty there, Newcastle, at the very least. But what they do get is a scrum feed 12 metres away from the Parramatta line. The Knights 12, the Eels nil. And there's 20 minutes to go in the first half. And here is another grand opportunity for the Knights and the maestro. John speeds the scrum. 15 metres out from the line, Johns in and out, goes to the open side, picks up Rudder, oh, Rudder's going to have a crack himself, and he takes them on, he takes on Hodgson, yep, he can't yeah, they push him away, 11 metres out from the goal line, oh, Davis goes to the right side, he picks up Hughes, turns it inside now to Gidley, Gidley racing across field steps, Gidley for the line, he's not there, but very close, two metres out just to the right of the uprights, Baderas to Johns, Johns swings the ball onto Kennedy, he keeps it going to Peden, Peden's in again, Peden scores Second. Unbelievable, and the Knights lead Parramatta by 16 points to nil with a kick to come on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard and the Eels have plenty of thinking to do the De Bordley recap, John Gibbs. Oh, Matt Gidley was absolutely brilliant in the lead up to that. He almost got away from Brad Drew. He launched himself at the line. And what they're doing, when they get over the advantage line, they get set so quickly. They line deep and the passes go bang, bang, bang. And the decoy runner on that occasion again was Ben Kennedy. Ben Kennedy is having a mighty game. And Billy Peden, this will be a game to remember, a night to remember for Billy Peden. He is at his attacking best here this evening. 
but it all came about because of a bomb, a spiralling bomb, not by Andrew Johns, but by Sean Rudder. Jason Moody got up for the ball. I think they're a little bit unlucky not to get a penalty, but anyway, Jason Moody has knocked the ball on. They kept the ball alive, and their ball control here, the ball control of the Newcastle Knights, is absolutely superb. They've got no answers to this Parramatta. It came about after the ball had been knocked on by Jason Moody. They swung the ball wide. They're getting deep. They're running onto the ball, and Andrew Johns, Ooh, trouble for Parramatta is really just organising things. He's the conductor. He's the maestro, all right. But the other players are doing the job for him. Here he is now, Johns. Eight metres in from the Western Touchline. The score is the night 16. The Eels nil. 17 and a half out before half time. This is becoming embarrassing, Wilco. Well, now Andrew Johns. Right foot round the corner. Hits it sweetly. And he strikes it magnificently between the uprights. And the Knights lead by 18. It is Newcastle 18 at the Eels nil. It's a mind-boggling scoreboard with 18, 17 minutes to go before the break. We'll go down to the sideline for ring hot water. Big Darrell. Well, what can you say? Honestly, what can you say? To my way of thinking, I might be Stay way off theme here, but the Knights are doing nothing fancy. All they are doing is just playing standard rugby league. They're catching, they're passing, they're going forward, but they are making the Eels look Don't fair dick and second rate. That's Let one. me tell you, I reckon they're Hold choking. Well, I think it's a oh, bit They haven't early. made a mistake. Look, at this level, they have not made a mistake. Turn They've out. had 13 up, sets, Daniel. but 13 completions. That's how good they're going. Well, I think uh, it's a bit early for that sort of call, Daryl, but we'll find That's out right. shortly because the Knights, uh, uh, there was a good jamming tackle from the kickoff, but now they're all already over the 30. They're almost out to the 40 again. Right, and the go, Eels, everyone, go, are they handling the moment? Well, that'll be analysed in time to come, but we've got a long way to go in the game. Baderas to Johns, he's going to kick. And he flops one over the top. Underneath oh, yeah. it is going to be Burt. Takes it 30 out from his own line. Twitches one way, then the other. That's well, there you go. That's probably the sort down. of pass that a confident Parramatta would have thrown because he had Hodgson away to his right in a bit of space. Hodgson goes one out now, and he That's is good. just jammed as Can well. We and the over the point. top, it was Perry on, again. 15 from halfway. He has just nailed him. And look, he's winded, and he's That's gasping good. for it. Oh, they are maintaining... Great authority and superiority here, this Newcastle side, as Andrew Ryan is on the field for Parramatta. Can they get some rhythm going on some territory? Ball slipped away, but even then they managed to secure Butner, who would normally be through there. That's a penalty for a double grab on the ankles, and Parramatta... Parramatta have uh, some territory here. They're 48 out from the line. They're going to find touch here, and this is their first respite when from uh, just a horror stretch of <laughs> defending where they've conceded three tries. And that was the yeah. last tackle, Wilco. They find touch 19 metres away from the Newcastle line, so that was a timely penalty. Can they score? Well, it goes across from Taylor. Swings the ball to Butner and the short offload away to Wagon into Kennedy, who accepts him. 18-0. The Knights Newcastle over the Eels and 19 metres out from the line. They go to the right side to Ryan. Turns it back inside to Drew. Drew bounces out of one. Then the other. The offload is good to Butner. Butner from a standing start tries to accelerate. Dummy all the way, but Kennedy takes him. Seven metres out from the line. Drew dummy half. Drew attacks. Gives the flat ball away and they're caught out wide about seven metres out from the line. The tackle is made. They they go back the other way, it was on Taylor. Now to Wagon. Wagon will take them on oh, himself, but on Perry with a beautiful front on tackle. Eases him into the turf. Seven metres out from the goal line. Here goes Nathan Hindmarsh. The offload goes away to Moody. He scores! Well, Andrew Ryan, I should say. They're going to have a look at the screen, though. It's Andrew Ryan to check whether he's grounded the ball. It was Hindmarsh to Andrew Ryan. And in a sea of bodies... Andrew Ryan may well have put the Eels on the board here. Well, head on will show it, Wilco. Has he got the ball down? They're playing at the ball. Here he goes. Hang on. No, he hasn't. He hasn't got the ball down. No try. He's oh. been held up. Remarkable defence by Newcastle. He's been held up. Andrew Ryan has been held up. That was a great ball from Nathan Highmark. He slipped the ball to Andrew Ryan. Great work by Steve Simpson. Absolutely superb work by Steve Simpson, who rolled him over in heroic stuff there. And this will be no try. The score will remain Newcastle 18, Parramatta nil on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard. And there is about 16 minutes in this half remaining, but they're going to be denied here. That was their only opportunity of the game, and they've been denied. Great defence. Well, that was incredible because in trying to plant the ball, Andrew Ryan, he's, uh, he's caught underneath. The, it has been the calf muscle 
of uh, Simpson, who's then... Bottom up video referee, decision pending, Wilco. He's recognised that, and then he's rolled him over on the back of that. No try. Scrum, Parramatta feed. And it's 10 metres out, so they're going to have to go again. 14 to go before the break. They really needed that, but they're going to have another chance. Ooh, desperate defence, though. Great defence there. The defence from Josh Perry has been remarkable. There's been question marks about his defence. He has been outstanding. He's Parramatta feeding the ball. 10 out from the Newcastle line. And it goes now to Violicki, taking the ball at first receiver. And he's taken about 12 metres out from the line, just to the right of the uprights. Wagon into dummy half. Wagon swings it back the other way, finds Drew. Had to stop the take it. Then on to Taylor. Taylor gives it out wide. Nathan Heinmars, our bird puts it down with the line wide open. Not only that, the response comes from Tahu. Wicked pass, it was behind him. Oh, well, they would have finished that nine times out of ten, Parramatta. But they've come up with the error in the left Do corner. It's still 18-0, the Knights over the Eels. Well, that's what they can't afford to do. There's 14 minutes of this half remaining. They cannot afford to squander opportunities. Here's the Knights again with an opportunity out wide. Mark Hughes is going to be tackled, but he's already 35 metres away from his own line. He's getting out of the danger area. And Newcastle are doing it comfortably. Well, Newcastle go ahead now me. through Clinton O'Brien, and uh, he takes the ball up. Ten metres from halfway, Vaderis gives the ball away to uh, Daniel Abraham, and That's he's tackled ball. about three metres Come away out. from halfway, so a couple of replacements each side. They go up the centre of the ruck again this Marcus time, the Knights. And, uh, they're 45 metres out Blake from the line. O'Brien again, he's tackled, ball played, or oh, that's grief, I should say. Now the kick downfield, the middle of the park. Will it hit the upright? Gee, it could easily have hit the upright and bounce straight back to Robbie O'Davis. That's how things have been going for the Newcastle Knights. Restart from the centre of the 20 metre line. This crowd, listen to them, they're absolutely stunned. Both Knights fans and Parramatta fans alike. It is the Knights 18, the Eels nil. A 12 and a half to go before the break. Daryl Brayman sideline for Reem Hotwater as the Eels uh, try and finger it around inside their own 30 metre line. And uh, they need uh, they need something going their way. Yeah, they do, Wilco. Look, I'm going to retract that choke call. I don't know if they have choke. They haven't really have not actually. Their defence has been poor, though. But I will say this, the Newcastle Knights just made Sean. three changes in one go. You as a penalty goes move. to the Eels, no, there's another hard. soft one from Billy Boy. Another soft one to the Eels, but they made three changes. The two front rows are off, and Steve Simpson has come off, gone straight up the shed. He has a shoulder problem. There'll be no doubt needling him up. Hughes has got a cut eye. PJ Marsh just goes on also for Parramatta, and they find touch 35 metres away from the Newcastle line. Good field, field position again. And they swing it across the park, and then on the wagon. Line, Still quick, really not here. hitting the line with any great power at the moment. That maybe will come shortly. Here goes Hodgson giving it to Ian Hind Marsh, but he's just tunnelled into the ground before he can advance. And who's the man? Andrew Johns on the 30 metre line. Jamie Lyons skips Try away. Andrew Johns tackles him as well. well skipped from dummy half right. as he was. 25 out from the line. PJ Mars slithers away and he attacks that ruck region and picks a hole and gets to the 10 metre line. Chance again for Parramatta. They go across field to Ryan. Then on to Taylor. Tawal sings the ball to Butner. Almost an intercept. There might be. Oh, I tell you what, Birds dived on it. And Tahu was a slither away from picking it up on the bounce and racing 80 metres to score. They go back the other way. Cross field bomb from Taylor. Underneath it is Moody. Leaps high, takes it. Pops the pass out the back. Johns is there to intercept for the Knights. 15 out from the Newcastle. Castle Knights line, they're doing it comfortably, the Knights 18, the Eels nil, 11 to go before the break. Oh, great vision there, wasn't it, by Andrew yeah, Johns, though, because he knew as soon as Adam McDougall had tied up that player, Moody was going to try and throw a pass back, and Andrew Johns was there waiting for the Drink. ball. We've got to go back to that Pick lost opportunity. Hindmarsh, Nathan had put Luke Burt basically into the cliff. Tamana Tahu is coming in off Four. his wing, he's got to be Luke, careful Luke, not to do take. that too often. Seven metres we away are. from the halfway line, the Knights with the football again after a grief run, and now they go to McDougal, twisting and turning when he hits that defensive line, Daniel tackle about 48 metres out from the line, they grope at him, ball goes down the left side, it's almost a forward pass out in front of Johns, and he pokes it into touch, it is a 10 pass. metres oh, away from the goal line, goes. that's a forward pass, yeah. i tell you what, it was marginal, we were right in line, and it's one you could have left go, but the first Knights... First mistake, Wilco, we've had 30 minutes yep. of play exactly, and that's their first mistake. Well, the uh, Parramatta side, one would think that they'd have to score in the next 10 minutes. Oh, anything can happen, you, you can't say. But look at them going backwards That's here as the Knights again here. assert Holy that Benny. domination in defence. And this time it was grief. They go up the centre of the ruck this time and they go through Alex Chan, one. trying to give them a bit of muscle and meat and power in the centre of the ruck. He's grasped 48 metres out from the line. Oh, Moody has gone from dummy half and the ball has slopped out like the waiter slipping across the floor as he's about to serve. It was faulty towers, Daryl Broman. 
Oh, geez, it was a poor effort, though. I wrapped him before, and since then he's knocked the ball on that led to a Newcastle try, and then just knocked another one on from dummy half. He's coming back to the field a little bit here. They've just got no answer, Paramount. There's no fluency in their attack. They're not making metres up the middle of the ruck. They are most disappointing. Well, towers. Manuel wouldn't have dropped that. Well, look out wide. They go again, Newcastle. And, uh, in. in contrast, they're threatening yeah, yeah. They're threatening at every opportunity. And uh, the Knights already on the 40 well, metre line. You wouldn't be surprised to see here. them score again in this and nine minutes here. before the break. That's uh, sometimes how it occurs. And uh, we watch now the Knights 33 metres out from the line. And uh, they're on the attack big time. Nice, Badaris nice, now goes to Glenn Grief. And he just muscles forward up to within 22 of the line, just to the right of the uprights. They're going to go across the face of Goal, or will they attack the short? They go open side to the left to Johns. Johns runs, beats one. Johns still going. Oh, he's tackled by PJ Mars from behind. It was superb. Here goes Kennedy. Kennedy for the line. Kennedy's in. Kennedy scores. It's a match parade. Newcastle 22. Parramatta nil. Oh, they are just in terrific form, emotional form, and the crowd is going with them too. The Newcastle Knights 22, the Eels nil. Eight minutes to go before the half-time break. What about the break? The Bortley replay shows a magnificent break there. Nathan Highmarsh was left lamenting, and as was Andrew Ryan. PJ Marsh reeled him in from behind, but Andrew Johns, he got up, played the ball cleanly, and Ben Kennedy, you reckon he doesn't grow an extra leg with Andrew Johns around him. He's a great player in his own right, but he said, look out, boys, I'll get in here, I'll pick up the crumbs, and as soon as Johns had decimated the opposition, Ben Kennedy was in the dummy half and ran straight at the post, and and he did it all on his own and he said thank you Andrew he fist pumped the air and said get that one Indians the Knights 22 the Eels nil eight before the break and in a moment it's going to be 24 nil because the conversion comes from right next to the post and why did they score why did they get the field position because Jason Moody dropped the ball from dummy half here's Johns to add the extras it's 24 nil the Knights over the Eels with eight to go before the break and the crowd, well, they're wildly Newcastle, but the Parramatta fans are in stunned disbelief. It's their worst nightmare, Wilco, their worst nightmare. Seven minutes 40 to go before Stay half time. Me, it's 24 nil on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard. Darrell Broman sideline for Reem Hotwater. I'm absolutely stunned. This is the team that hasn't been beaten. They've been beaten once in about 23 weeks or something and have just done it on their ear all year tonight in the one that okay, really Barrett, really up, counts Holy they Cross are being hold, smashed hold. by a very very good and committed outfit yeah thanks Daryl and uh, Knights hold again it. just close to the 20 metre line well uh, when it was what was it 12 nil or 18 nil they had to score that try Andrew Ryan plunging over the line but uh, no try couldn't get the ball down gee the rubber the green is it with the Knights? Look at grief, the offload on the way down. Well, I mean, Steve Simpson up. desperately Pretty stopped up. Andrew Wright. The secret here, Hallie or the in. agenda here, is look, 16 out of 17 completions by Newcastle. They've done it in style. And the Parramatta side, Three only 8 here. of 13. And a couple of those, David, namely David, from Jason Moody, here. have led to Come tries. On. They've got to hold on to the Back. ball. Here goes Andrew Johns, kicking downfield past Hodson. Hodson watches the ball bounce for the goal line, picks it up. And look at the chase, it's on. And it's still uh, eight strong across the park. That's a Another theatre of Marcus domination from the Newcastle Knights and the ch look Marcus at them, the chase and the Parramatta side, one out, three, confused, bewildered, Solomon is on the ball play but uh, look at him go up the centre of the back, oh, he pushes one on his heels and uh, that was Glenn Grief sent him back, the ball comes away, they've got a chance to face something here but the ball had to go outside and instead they kept it on the inside, there's a three man overlap on the edge, Nathan Hindmarsh couldn't find it, they go that way now, Butner turning it inside to Ryan but a sea of bodies on halfway close him down and that uh, suggests that all is not well uh, in the attacking machine of the Eels when they do that sort of stuff as they go across field to Wag and then into Vialicki dancing, Vialicki trying to get them going, and he's 44 metres out from the goal line, he's going to play the ball, they whip it across the park to Taylor. Taylor's going to kick downfield and McDougal with a chase back 
He should pick it up on the goal line. He does. And the chase, well, they're sort of waiting for McDougal, whereas the Knights were a few metres in front. Good driving tackle, though. Despite that from Solomona with the headgear, ripped him into the turf on the 10 metre line. The Knights have the football just doing the business. Five to go before the break. A stunning scoreboard. The Knights 24, the Eels nil as Matthew Three. Gidley goes forward down that right yeah. side. We haven't even seen on, uh, the best from him, but one run yet. There are a few cards to play. Tahu almost oh. slides through, but for a desperation grab around the kneecaps from behind by Bialiki. And look at Baderas go away Five a few metres. And they're clutching from Three behind, up. which is a dangerous sign. Seven metres away from the halfway line. Johns kicks, and he finds a ball down on Hodgson's chest. 15 out from his own line. Back over the 20. Back up to the 30. Gives the ball out to Lyon. Lyon straight away to Moody. Moody just about through he is. He's got a man inside and out. Still going is Moody. Gives it going. Oh, it's knocked out of the hands. Johns has knocked it out of the hands. There's going to be play on. It is 10 metres out from the line. That was a try saver by Johns. I don't know how he got the hand of the ball. In any case, here goes Moody. Grabbed the ground by Baderas. He hangs on to him. Wants to give away a penalty. Fails to do so. They go to the left of Butner. Butner gives it out wide. Taylor forced to go back on the inside again. Gives it to a flat-footed Andrew Ryan. Can't fend off Kennedy. Gives the ball away to Solomona. Up and down in the same spot. Solomona half through the hole. Wobbles the ball out the back. They keep it going to the right side to Hodgson. And under line, dummies when he should have given it. He's swamped by Johns. Ten metres out from the corner. Here's Hodgson. Flat ball across field. They go to Kalis. Kalis angling for the uprights. Looking for the runner. Gives it to Taylor. Whips it out wide. They've got an overlap. They go to Violicki. Out to Bird. Bird for the corner. In and away. Swamped into touch. Great the defense. Nurse defense. Great defense, Wilco. How didn't they score? You've got to take your hat off to Newcastle there. They've been cut to shreds. Cut to ribbons by Jason Moody. He got away from Mark Hughes. He got away from Adam McDougall. He had PJ Marsh on the inside. And somehow, somehow, I don't know how, Andrew Johns was able to get his hand in there and knock the ball down. It was six to go. They swept the ball out wide. Luke Bird came up with a step and then he was nailed in the touch. But Andrew Johns, brilliant presence of mind. Oh, what about that for the what best? PJ that? Marsh was past him and John somehow stuck his arm out and knocked the ball out of his grasp. That was that incredible. He was in to score the try virtually and John's airborne has knocked the ball out. The Knights have it again just adjacent to their own 10 metre line and then on the back of that rudder and Gidley affected a magnificent tackle. What a passage tackle. of play though. It affected a magnificent tackle on uh, that man out in the corner there, Luke Bird. It is 24-0 the Knights over the Eels. Three minutes to go Mark before the break. Oh, that game up. needed that try. This game needed that try. And the Knights, well, they're probably going to score again. Could they? Possibly. 19 metres away from halfway. They're going to play the ball. They go down the shorter side. And uh, the tackle is accepted about 10 metres away from the halfway line. 15 metres in from touch. Andrew Ryan is the tackler. Baderas to Johns. He kicks looking for a 40-20. Look out. This might get there. No. no. Oh, it bounces to Hodgson. He takes it. He has a heart flutter. And he gives the ball to Moody. Moody not in air yet. And he's going to be ripped around. He's let go. Keeps on going, Moody. They chase him. And they're going to bury him finally without too much advance. 25 minutes away from the halfway line. Two and a half to go before the break. Well, they've got to get on the board. Surely, Parramatta, in this two and a half minutes. Through. Otherwise, they'll be... So totally rattled in the mind, they might find it. Look at PJ. Him. PJ marches away. He blisters over the 40, and he's 35 out when tackled. He blistered about 5, 10, 15, 20 metres. Their beautiful run on the back of it now. Can they capitalise? They go to Butner, feeds the pass on the bounce. It's knocked on. Look out. McDougal dives on it, and that's knocked on by line. Okay. It was a poor ball out in front and on the ground. Daryl Brayman sideline for Reem Hot Water. It is all going awry. For the Parramatta Eels, the minor premiers. Oh, just a shocking pass from Michael Butner. I mean, he's been around long enough to know that, you know, you've got to hit, hit someone on the chest when you throw one of those out there. It was just a Barry. I just want to take you back to that break from Jason Moody when the ball oh, went on the inside to PJ Marsh and, and he came head up head with a great tackle there, Johns. I'll tell you right That's here right, and now, David, if he stays and throws it to the outside, Jamie Lyon scores for your life. Unmarked on the outside, Middle Moody outside. went the wrong we way. It was butchered all right, but it was still a great piece of work from Andrew Johns and then the desperation over the other side of the field Gidley and a couple of others coming across to nail Luke Burt they've had two opportunities or three really Mark, and two of them have been Daniel. saved by heroic efforts by the Newcastle Knights well now the Knights and still like they, they 
can juggle Shoot, the ball right, and reel it fellas. back into the person. No knock on. It will go one minute to go up. before the break. The Knights 24, the Eels nil. They've made one mistake in this half, the Newcastle Knights. Oh, one yeah, mistake. Please. Look out. If they score again, it'll be all over. They're 40 metres out from the line. They go up the centre. They almost punch oh, a hole clean down, through David. via grief. They're 25 yeah, metres out back. from the line. Last tackle, the Knights. They go to the left, Baderas. Baderas grubbers. It's useful. It's dived on, though, by line. And he's head. going to just accept the tackle. Nine metres out from his here. own line by Hughes. Ball is played. They go across to Hodgson, weaving just weaving outside his own 10 metre line. 30 seconds to go before the break. Here, and the Knights lead 24 to nil over the Eels. And we're all stunned, I think, about the impact of this. And Bill they Harrigan finds a pretty friendly there, penalty there that need not have been given. In fact, uh, in the end result, it's not going to matter because there are 15 seconds to penalties go before four the break. Penalties 4-1 to Parramatta. The penalties are going 4-1 to Parramatta. And by the way, the one mistake to Newcastle in the half was a dubious forward pass, a flat pass from yeah. dummy half. Here they are, 30 metres away from the Newcastle line with one last chance. One last play, and it's going to be Hodgson flying, giving the ball away to PJ Marsh. Well, they better watch out. They might make an error. Beardness put it down. Beardness just knocked it down cold, and they had numbers out wide on the left too. They might well have found something. Thing. Well, the Newcastle Knights, you have to stand to them. The whole of Newcastle gathered on the expressway yesterday to farewell them. And the Knights have delivered in the first half with a spectacular demolition of the minor premiers. And the Eels looking at them. They let go, so they were denied the first, the first half of football. By the way, the penalties, 4-1 Parramatta's way as well. There's O'Davis with the kickoff for the second half. Well, the game is underway and Solomon are drawn into the fray and the Knights will be looking to start beautifully again too and all the people right now, listening up through the Hunter region or wherever you're listening, uh, early, I hope early, you're enjoying the coverage. Certainly the Knights going great guns as Parramatta have the ball. And there's a penalty oh, here. Well, here's a Bill Harrigan uh, penalty no. just after half time against the Knights. Was that for not marking square? Yep. And uh, the kick goes into touch eight yeah. metres from halfway and that's an... Nice, uh, nice one for Too the... Too early out of dummy half, specifically. Yeah, nice, uh, nice one to start the half with as they go to Wagon now, and Wagon almost breaks they the line, but the Knights secure fellas. their defence on halfway. Down. Quick play the ball, so that's a gift start. They work it now at the centre of the ruck. They go from Kalis that's back two. to PJ Here Marsh. Bittner flies through without the football. Up to play it, 44 metres out from the line. Now to Taylor. Taylor running, holding up the pass to Vialicki, and he was smashed up, after Mike's receiving right. the ball, Taylor, too, by Rudder. And sledged. Uh, 30 metres out from the line, here goes Solomona. Beautiful offload and it's dropped and knocked on by Hodgson. And uh, those are the sorts of balls that uh, Solomona's been throwing all year on the way down. Popped it up, it was just out in front of Hodgson. He, he was entitled to take it. They've got uh, really your right stick in the hands. Well, they've Look got at a that, stick. a simple now, one. The pass is good, he's drawn no, no, three players, David down, Solomona. Down. He did Cap everything humanly oh, possible to create hard. the opportunity the opportunity no, wait, was created no, and it was blown no. by Brett Hodgson and as a result no. Andrew Johns feeds the scrum 25 minutes out from his own line one and a half minutes into the second half and already Parramatta has made an error Lead as up, there's Daniel a run one. from the scrum based by Johns and Johns 19 metres from halfway he literally goes across field and gives the ball away now to Abraham and he's tackled Man, and it gets up and runs again two. and uh, the ball is going to be held with him 17 or well, 7 metres from the halfway line and Three. now are, they slip and fall Pretty about a metre from halfway of I grief he gets up to play the football they go back across the centre to uh, Clinton O'Brien he's up ended about 45 metres out from the line Baderas to the rolling rudder he fires a big harbour bridger out there to Hughes turns it inside to McDougal beats one two running across the center of the field now a pass it's flicked not to let out the back there, and the referee it. rules he's knocked it on excuse me sir it. that seemed to be just flicked cleanly out the back but the referee oh, well we haven't seen a Debotley replay yet but it was uh, Adam McDougal who was terrorizing them he went to pass the ball out the back which he's done hang on it's play on! Now there's, there's two there. errors that have been... What, what's going on here? That's, that's Bill Arrogant's come up with a shocker there. That's a ludicrous decision. That is an absolutely extraordinary decision from Bill Harrigan. You can hear the booing when they, everyone here saw the yeah, deploy yeah, replay. Yeah, well, that was just a flick out the back. I was flummoxed at the time. Uh, you thought, what's happening here? I was as well. It was just play on. It was a flick out the back. It was on the bounce. Come. It was play on. Yeah. That's an imagination. That is yeah. nine metres away from the halfway line. And if that conjures up a, a way for Parramatta Three. to get back in the contest... Come on back. Gee, this line, fellas, this in line. the end result, you've got to ask the questions, don't you? On the halfway line, here goes Taylor, attacking Taylor, though, busying oh! himself, but uh, to 
not much effect. Quick play, the ball in the back of it though. PJ Master, Solomona, lurching down that right side, dummying in traffic and taken to ground 25 metres out. 25 metres out from the right corner. Line feeds it across to Taylor. Keeps it going to Butner. And Butner pops the ball to the corner. Look out if Tahu takes it. He could be away. He takes it, but he was knocked off balance in midair and taken to ground by Violinki. That could have resulted in a Look try out. at the other end of the field. He goes John Stampering from dummy half down the shorter side. He had an eight co a metre corridor down that right side and just about got away. Gidley now rages across field. Butner cuts him to the turf. 20 metres from the halfway line. We've got four minutes gone in the second half and Newcastle leading by 24 to nil at the moment the Parramatta side without the ball and just not looking like scoring with it a couple of metres away from the halfway line although they were until the Hodson put that ball down from Solomona metre from halfway and they've got two assists so far you could say here goes Johns with a kick in the middle of the field Hodson underneath it he allows it to bounce into the end goal area wants it to go dead it won't it won't will he get back into the field of play somehow he does well that is just how it's all been going rubber the green but normally a confident Hodson would have taken that on the fly instead he had a bit of a think about it and let it go and it beat him I think we should give the credit there to the kick of Andrew Johns how good was it it went past uh, at Hodson Brett Hodson thought he was going to take the Andrew Johns kick and then he thought it was going to go over the dead ball and it did none of that and he had to run the ball back into the field of play. Here's Solomona putting the ball down and John sneaks onto it. They were waiting for him to throw the pass. He obliged and the Knights have it again. 21 out from the line. It goes across to Gidley to O'Davis dancing, weaving up over the 20. Tackled 15 metres out. Oh, it's getting desperate here for the Eels as they go from dummy half and it's a plunging run from Marquette to open up the right. They go from dummy half even. As arrogant as that may seem, as confident as that may seem. It was a good ploy to no effect. Here's Johns, 10 out. He gives the ball away and almost bursting straight through. There's a ball on the ground thrown back and the, uh, the Eels come up with it. It was a despairing pass thrown back. It hit the deck, and I tell you what, they were just about through on the back of that by Baderas. Oh, Baderas, I thought he was going to score. I think he could have got there. I don't think he realised he was past the defence. He threw the ball back desperately on the, on the inside. That is their first genuine mistake of the game. Here goes Michael Vella hitting it up too, and those sorts of runs have been well spaced. They go down the shorter side to the right to line, twitching into the defence over halfway, tackled 48 metres out from the line. Six gone in the second half, still 24-0. Taylor's going to poke a kick for the right corner, and he's not going to find the line. Oh, Davis picks it up six metres out. Oh, Davis heads across field, runs into Taylor, who meets and him front on, and he's hit over the top as line. well. Ten metres out from the line by Vela. Up to play the football. Parramatta's defensive line straight and hard. They want to turn over here, and they want to try quick smart. Otherwise, they will have no chance. Time is going to just be running away from them. The Knights are still playing with so much confidence. The Knights have it. 25 out from their own line. Here's Tamana Tahu. He looks the man most likely to score the next try, Tamana Tahu. Who very fleet of foot tonight. Look at Badera scampering from dummy half. Picks up 10. Taken to ground. Ball played. Five from halfway. Johns. Ball in hand. Runs. Controls. Kicks away from Hodgson. Another beautiful looking kick. Open country behind Moody. Moody picks it up. Looks at four running at him. Fires it to Hodgson. Hodgson splits them briefly. Just out past the 10. And he's tackled about 15 out from his own line. Sideline for Reem Hot Water. Darren Bowman. Well, Solomon is off. He's got a problem with his hand. I think he's also been pulled. I wouldn't have been pulling him off would have left him out there. I reckon at least he's got some spark, which is more than you can say for the other 16 of them at the moment. There's nothing doing. 18 metres away from the halfway line, Parramatta. Desperate for a try. Knights fractionally offside here. The referee says play on. Butner thinks about a ball, but Violicki wasn't close to him, and he's bare hugged to ground in a fine tackle by Rudder. Open side to the right. They go now through Nathan Kalis. Punches hard at the line, but again, clawed to ground solidly, and they're in three of them over the top to really drive into the turf. Butner down the shorter side. Pass inside. Almost intercepted. Wagon flies it through the middle of the field. They keep it alive. They've got a chance out on the right side. There's going to be an intercept is there just about it's still on the ground it is now and away goes Kennedy over halfway over the 30 up to the 30 loses the ball on the way down knock on knock on and gee well it had an intercept written on it twice and on the second occasion it was almost Kennedy flying oh you can see that coming couldn't you Nathan Kalis threw the ball over the top and really, it was taken there by Andrew Ryan. Adam McDougall thought about going for the intercept. He let it go because he hammered Andrew Ryan. He dropped the ball. It was picked up by Mark Hughes, who gave the ball to a rampaging Ben Kennedy. He was into the clear, but coming in off the wing to make a very important tackle was Jason Moody. 
And now the ball would be fed by Parramatta. 30 out from their own line. The Eels have got it, and that was a lucky one. They got out of that dust. Oh, the Eels are being monstered at the moment by every one of the Knights. And John's going in to really attack Jamie Lyon. They go out to Ryan. Out wide it goes to Moody. Moody puts his hip into the work up to halfway. Almost driven across the touchline. Stays in field on halfway. Scooped up from dummy half it is. They work across field now. Ball wobbled. And uh, Taylor now twitching and weaving. Ball in traffic. No, goes to ground. 41 metres out from the line with options to his right and left. They go now to Nathan Kalis over the 40. Keeps it going. Here goes the wagon up the centre. Beautiful offload. A bit of a chance here as Hodgson has taken the ground. Still great scrambling by the Knights. 24 metres out from the line. The Parramatta side have to score here. Taylor. Taylor runs. Still Taylor goes to the 10 metre line and he's tackled. 10 to the right of the uprights or about 6. It's the last tackle. PJ Marsh. PJ Marsh grubbers for the in-goal area there. So Davis picks it up and O Davis has got to be slammed over the dead ball line the Knights secure again nine and a half gone in the second half it's the Knights 24 the Eels nil well that's a little bit better there by the by the Parramatta Eels there's no doubt about that it was a decoy ball and coming on the inside of Nathan Highmarsh was Daniel Wagon he was into the clear there was some good offloading Brett Hodson found the open spaces but there was some very good scrambling defense by Newcastle but PJ Marsh the right option he dribbled the ball into the in goal area Robbie O Davis let it go he picked it up and he was hammered by Jason Moody but there is a line drop out now and they will get a repeat set of six now there's 30 minutes to go Wilco they've got a score basically now I reckon 24 nil and Knights over the Eels there's a big line drop out finally picked up by Vela well, the drop out to halfway and beyond. Vela has it. Look at the galloping run from Vela. Good return from Vela. And he takes it back to the 30 metre line. Second play here. Here goes a weaving PJ Marsh. Skating down that right side. Heading to the northeastern corner. They're 24 metres out from the line. They go to Nathan Kalos. He punches hard into the line. And they're 12 metres out. Desperately needing a try. They go open side of the left to Taylor. Keeps it going to Wagon. Wagon has numbers with him in Nathan Hindmarsh. Bounces out of one. Can't get out of the second one. That of his opposite number Simpson, ball played Wagon to Taylor, Taylor from close range, wheels around, gives it back to PJ Marsh, dummies, can't slither through, bounces out of one but they grab him, five out from the goal line, last tackle again, oh the Knights heroic currently open side of the right, here's Taylor, turns it inside to Kalis, Kalis loses the ball Knights ball. They're cramping Jason Taylor. They're up and they're cramping him. He's stuttering. He's twitching. He went to throw it outside, then throw it inside. And Nathan Kalis put the ball down. He was under too much pressure. All of the runners are being absolutely shadowed. The Parramatta runners off Jason Taylor. And he is really being bustled here. Jason Taylor is being bustled brilliantly. They are looking better, Parramatta. But still, that desire and commitment is being shown by Newcastle. And Newcastle have the ball and they're rolling forward authority it will be again in the set they're 12 metres from halfway they lead 24 to nil yes 24 to nil and McDougal called into the fray bounces towards halfway tackle a metre short of the halfway line now it goes to Andrew Johns two metres from halfway angles a kick deep over the 10 metre line into the end goal area will it trickle it's just going to sit there again on the dead ball line forced to be picked up by Burt runs back stutters back he had Hodson available but he elected not to throw the ball and Daryl Brayman of the Eels look at them but Draggled getting back behind the the line they need two miracles here in the space of about 10 minutes but you just can't see them happening not at the moment the defense of Newcastle has just been absolutely superb and as in John's come into his own lately he has just been superb Jason Taylor off he's well, off the paddock well there's a chance down the right side and they've thrown an intercept pass on the inside again this time from Moody they exploded down the right they had a chance but the defence came across and Moody flew the pass back on the inside to find it intercepted again. And the Knights, you've got the feeling they're going to score next anyway. Well, Jamie Lyon was into the open spaces, gave the ball to Jason Moody. Good tackle from Mark Hughes, desperate stuff from Mark Hughes, and he did make the tackle. Oh, it was a great tackle from Mark Hughes. A hip hugger. They're on the 30 metre line and they go now again through Clinton O'Brien and these mobile forwards coming into their own. They're 23 metres out from the line. Johns. Johns is a hole for him. Grubbers for the end goal area. The chase is on. Look at Rudder stretching out. Oh, it's no socket dead off the instep. He almost missed it though, did Luke Burke. Almost and, an own goal. And that would have been 
and a simple dive on try for Rudder. He just about missed that. It's 24-0 the Knights over the Eels. And what a masterly kicking Thank display by guys. Andrew Johns. Absolutely superb kicking display by Andrew Johns. He is really driving the nail into the Parramatta coffin. Here's Brad Drew with a little line dropout. Oh. He, they're a wake up to it. Brad Drew's halfback with Taylor off and PJ Mask is now the hooker. So Taylor's been hooked. Well, 11 metres out from the line, Billy Peden, he takes it. Well, that has backfired big time because they're five metres out from the goal line. They're going to score here. McDougal says he wants to. Spinning characteristically, can't get there a metre out from the line. And this could just about be it. Johns holds up the pass, gives it to Rudder, feeds it on to Simpson. Simpson crashes over in the right corner. They're going to have a look. No, held up. Held up. He hasn't even gone for the screen. Hasn't even gone for the screen. It, they're, they're congratulating him. Oh, how could you possibly it's see that, Bill? Hey, look, and the balance of probability is probably going to be right, but that is just an unnecessary, arrogant call. Unnecessary. You can say, yes, he got it right. Give him the credit there. He started to have a double take then because after he'd ruled held up, he then went over to the touch judge and he said, yeah, I'm sure. It's still a Newcastle feed. Ten out from the Parramatta line. <laughs> it was desperately close. Johns has it. They'll score here in a moment. Here goes Gidley. Gidley punching for the hole, taking on Buchner. Yeah, just manages run, to run, grab him. Oh, it's going to be 30 nil. one feels in a minute. Here goes O'Davis. O'Davis dives and no. I think the ball was taken from his grasp just as he was trying to play. It. Uh, does he think he's got it down? I don't think so. And he's missed the opportunity there, Robbie O'Davis, but only just. He swivels. Was he dispossessed of the ball illegally? That will be another question to be asked. This is incredible. Andrew Johns, by the way, only needs another eight points. Here's Robbie O'Davis swivels, gets over the line, high marshes underneath him. Oh, oh, the foot. No, that's going, he's lost that. He has lost that on the foot there of Nathan Highmarsh. That was a miracle. Have a look yeah, at this. Well, that was a mirror of the uh, of the uh, Simpson. Uh, and Nathan Highmarsh giving the credit. Sorry. He's put the leg there on purpose. That has been lost by Robbie O'Davis. So they've gone desperately close on two occasions. It will be a 20-metre tap. So I was just going to say, Johns needs eight points to break Ivan Cleary's record in a premiership year of 284 points. And the way things are going, I reckon he'll get there. It's 24 points to nil, Wilco. 24 points to nil, but still plenty of time. Video referee yeah. pending. It will be a 20-minute tap. Well, 24 nil. 24 nil. The Knights led the West Tigers and were run down. But uh, yes, who wasn't there? We'll the Andrew Johns. <laughs> Absolutely. But I'm just saying. Yeah, he's, he's worth 48 points. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the Parramatta yeah, side. Yeah. I'd love to, to say, talk it up too, Wilco, yeah. but. Well, yeah. It won't happen with Andrew Johns there. 26 minutes of this game remaining. The Knights 24, the Eels <laughs> nil on the Sunday Telegraph. I'm not talking scoreboard. it up. I was just Hello. making a but statement. At least, at least we're seeing some desperate stuff from yeah. Parramatta. Here you go, Parramatta. PJ Mars slithering away. PJ Mars almost through. Runners going without the ball. But some of the runners That's don't straight. exactly as though they want the ball. 49 metres out from the line. And the ball played. Here goes Drew. Drew angling across field. Turns it inside. And uh, the passes are being thrown. And the mistakes are going to come. Or they're going to stick and Nathan Kalis finds Nathan Hindmar somehow but they lose what six seven That's meters four. in the exchange because Kalis was 38 out and now they're about 44 out from Dubby half away goes Drew again gives the ball to Butner in a hole Butner flying he throws a pass that has gone forward tackle. that's gone forward beautiful tackle low down Robbie O'Davis a siding tackle Michael Butner was on the fly absolutely a top pace Michael Butner is cut down by Robbie O'Davis and the pass went astray. Good work That's though, good. they are looking better, Wilco, but they just cannot make the last pass thick. Now 24 nil. the Knights over the Eels on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard, Daryl Brown and sideline for Reem Hotwater. I don't think we gave Robbie O'Davis enough credit for that tackle, that was as good a fullback tackle as you will ever see. He was flying oh. Butner and he just yeah, cut his legs from under him and Butner threw a barrier of a pass, the second of the game. I just don't know Come what's doing, I'll tell you the player for Newcastle here tonight who has done a remarkable job for them. Not only oh. tonight but this year, Sean Rudder tonight has been absolutely outstanding. Yep, couldn't agree more, Daryl, and you've just paid that tackle, it's due, and we thank you for that. Yeah, it was an, a, a scintillating, scything effort. A double S, a triple S, we'll find another word for it a moment. As a superlative for it as we watch now, the, well, the, the Parramatta Eels are being hemmed on their own 20, and we've got 23 minutes to go. Well, this game uh, has the chance, look at their being forced backwards, Peden with a tackle, Vela advances out towards the 30 metre line, 
as we see yeah, someone running out of the field, is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Some just They've got, got him a, in a dead ball area. In a dead ball area. That's ludicrous. Are they going to go through here? Ball on the ground. They've lost it again. It's going to be picked up. Play on. Six to go. Six to go, says Bill Harrigan. The players were running without the ball and the, the Parramatta side foraging for an opening. Five metres away from the halfway line, taken to ground, is Nathan Hindmarsh. About five from the halfway line. PJ Marsh on to Vela, stepping off the right foot, but he's going to be uh, hemmed before he can get to the advantage line virtually. That uh, intruder there ran straight through between the two sides, Wilco. Here's PJ Marsh out of dummy half. There's an opening here. Andrew Ryan's through. Andrew Ryan, ball on the inside. Away goes Hodgson. Trending clear, is he? Beats one. Accelerating for the uprights. Dives, commits himself. Has he got the ball down? I think he has for a try. They're going to award it, are they? Brett Hodgson under the crossbar. He's going to have a look. Oh, he's going to have a look because he committed himself to a dive from a long way out. Brett Hodgson, and this may be one slight glimmer of hope here for Parramatta. It'll Should they have grounded the ball? It'll be a try, Wilco. And G did a great job because he realised they were coming from a long way away. Yeah. Well, hang on. Has he the head on? Oh, he's shoulder? got that. He's got that. Hang yeah. on. Let's wait till we see the head on because he bounced up. And then he was rolling and they came over. That's there. Oh, that's a try. That's a try for mine. He did a good job because he got low to the ground from about eight metres away. Now, that bloke came onto the ground, ran between the two sides. He had a Parramatta jersey on. Maybe he feels they need 14 players. <laughs> they treated the Warriors with disdain, some might think, by only playing with 12, 14. It might have helped them. Try! Confirmation there. Brett Hodson has scored, so it is 24 points to four, and this kick comes from right in front of the post. Good work there. The Parramatta Reels have scored. They started that right on the halfway. Wilco? They did. They kept it going. The pass is stuck and 30 metres out. He had a path. He eluded the dive. I think of Andrew Johns. Beat uh, Robbie O'Davis and uh, also Andrew Ryan was the play that started it. There's the conversion from right in front. And successful. And the Eels are on the board. And their fans breathe. It's not going to be a total embarrassment this evening. In fact, they've given themselves... Just a little window here. Daryl Brayman on the sideline for Ream. Not to get their hopes too high in the air. They need another two quick tries to uh, count that. They can't put anything down now. 24 to 6, 22 to go on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard. Oh, I've no doubt about that, Wilco. They do need some more points, but at least the last five minutes has been a bit encouraging, I think, because there's been a few players hitting a few holes. We saw Butner hit a hole, and then on that occasion, we saw that player go straight through the meat of the ruck. I'm not, you know, look, I don't think they're out of the game, Parramatta, because I just get the feeling with these Knights, they might be closing up shop a little bit here. Well, we watch now. They're almost through again and uh, tackle the ground as Mutant are about 15 metres away from the halfway line. Up to play the football and they're finding a few holes and the Knights just waiting back a bit. So uh, plenty of intrigue in the next 10 minutes of play here. I hope you stay with us. Vela hits the line too uh, and he's tackled about 44 metres out from the line right in cross front of the crossbar. Ball goes away to Drew. Uh, Drew uh, props off the left foot. The ball wobbles in the air. Is it going to be knocked on? It's going to be Knights ball. Knights ball. Well, they played that and they've come yeah. unstuck. They just overplayed it then, Wilco, and that's what they've got to do. Brad Drew and PJ Mars as the half and hooker, they're doing a better job in that respect. But really, they've only completed four sets out of the last 11, Parramatta. They've got to come up with a better completion rate than that. Well, but Feller and Kalis, by the way, getting out of the advantage line, at least giving the Parramatta players now a bit of platform. 40 metres out from the line. Well, the Knights can hit straight back here against this Parramatta side. Is there another hole up the centre of the ruck? Are they going to explore that? Josh Perry just bruises them with a, another run as he edges into right, Andrew Ryan. And he takes him to ground, 31 metres out from the line. Baderas to Johns. going to try a field goal, Andrew Johns. And Andrew Johns leaves it away to the right of the uprights. No field goal. Looking for a bit more breathing space. I don't know what sort of signal that sends, well, but they are a long way in front. Three converted well, tries and one, it would mean that they had to score on four occasions. I just think it's a little bit early to be going for a field goal, but on the last tackle, I suppose the option was there, so he had a snap. Well, they're 19 metres from halfway, Parramatta. 20 minutes to go. Knights 24, Eel 6, and they're just going to be throwing this pill around at the moment, aren't they, Parramatta? Still the Knights up, aggressively defending, and the balls come free, and the Knights do have it, do they? The referee's going to rule. What? Here we go, Bill. Knocked forward Last against the... Get away by First one was okay, second one was not off. Oh, I'll tell you what, the 
few of these 50-50 calls have gone... Uh, yeah, we've probably got that right oh, in the I end. They did get it right. Philip Peden has knocked it on. And Parramatta feed the scrum 10 metres short of the halfway. Drew goes blindside. And uh, Drew uh, can't punch a hole through them as Kennedy had broken to uh, wrap him up a couple of metres away from halfway. They drive down that shoulder side of the right via Ian Hindmarsh and he's taken about 39 metres out from the line. Off the back of that, they go now through Vela. Vela storms up to the 30 metre line. Knights players claw him to ground. They're 28 out from dummy half. Here's PJ Marsh, slithering almost through up to the 10. Great defence again in front from O'Davis. Last tackle is it. They go from dummy half. Chance for line. Now the line is there, but he's pushed back. Tops the pass back to PJ Marsh. Gives the ball away. And it's going to be your last tackle play here. We'll he didn't give the ball now. away. Last tackle now. They go to Hodgson, swings it across the park to Butner. A little oh grubber kick. Hat. He chases, still there, and it's dived on by Andrew Johns. A yeah, brilliant save you. from AJ. Uh, what about his tidying up work, Andrew Johns? What about his vision? Is it a pl- We know what it can do on the field, but one. just his vision Take to pick two. up the crumbs and save the day on so many occasions and so many different and varying instances. Marcus, keep, well, keep, we keep, see keep, now keep, the uh, uh, Parramatta side day. putting it on the line here. The Knights are coming out of their own 20, but Parramatta realise it's the here and now for them. They must get the ball back and score next to have any hope. They had a chance there, but the last tackle option wasn't all that special. Look at Kennedy. Tackle gets up, runs again. That's brilliant from Kennedy. Another strong run to halfway. Ball goes to Johns. From halfway kicks it ricocheted. It's a charge down. They sprint through on Davis. Has a pick up on it. Does so. Gets away from one and slides into the tackle of Violicki. And 17 metres from halfway, Robbie O'Davis is going to play the foot Football. Some tired bodies out there, mind you, so anything could really happen. Here's Gidley probing down the right side. 12 in from touch on the right, he's dragged to the turf. Ball played. Tahu gives it now to Simpson. He muscles forward. Good aggressive run of the advantage line. He's 49 out from the line. 20 in from touch on the right. Ball goes from Baderas. Gives it away to Matty Parsons. Slips and falls at the feet of the defence. Nathan Hindmarsh, 42 out. Ball goes from Baderas. Dummies once, twice. He goes with it, so he doesn't throw it to anyone. 33 out from the line in front of the cross. Our last tackle, uh, the Newcastle Knights. They go to Johns. Johns kicks. It's a good, useful bomb again. Chasing through is Tahu. Tahu almost gets the bounce. Oh, Tahu scores! An amazing try in the right corner. The referee is going to have a look, but he's going to award the try to Tahu, and that is special. It is a signature. Andrew Johns. It's magnificent. Nathan Kalis is going off his nana here at Bill Harrigan. He thinks something has gone untoward on there. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was a try. But again, I think they were entitled to have a look at that. It's a nice 28 the Eel 6, but it was a bomb from Andrew Johns. They let it bounce, Wilco. They let it bounce and it was perfectly placed. And Tahu was screaming through for it. Hodgson let it bounce. He went past them. Luke Burt was there as well and somehow he got the ball down. Now, the Parramatta players, I think are suggesting maybe he went into that touch and goal area but Hodson and Luke Burt what about the communication there? There was none but Tamanata who never took his eyes off the ball, got it under control. That is a try. And really, it hard, look, I don't want to be critical. The last one, yes, maybe. But on that occasion, really, that was just incredible work by Tamanata who great eyesight, a great focus. He didn't take his eyes off the ball. And the Bortley replay shows no communication between Luke Burt and Ben Hodson. The ball bounced. Tahu on his knees took the ball and was able to get it down just before he was thrust over that touching goal line. What a try. Newcastle 28, Parramatta 6. 16 to go, Wilco. Well, well that one will just about close them down, I think. No, I think you're probably right. And John's from and the edge of the field. Avoided. That should have been avoided. Well, they had their chance at the other end and poor last tackle option with the grubber read by John's off Butner. And if they'd scored then, different but really the Knights, it's been their game. And here's Andrew Johns from the right edge of the field, hooks it, no goal, across the face to the left and bouncing just over the goal line. He wouldn't have had the height in any case. So 15 and a half to go in the grand final of 2001 at the Olympic Stadium at Stadium Australia. 28 to six, the Knights over the Eels. Darrell Brayman on the sideline for Ream. Might sound silly, Wilco, but I really think they needed that try, the Knights. I know they're in front by a big margin, 18 points, but I just thought they were going into their shell a bit. 
but on that occasion they scored and they've got the ball back here power from the kickoff but that does give them the buffer that I think they need it and I think they'll go on with it from here well uh, they, uh, they managed miraculously to get the ball back on the inside with a loop from Moody but they go across field now to big David Sol oh no and uh, if they're to hit back, excuse me, they need to hit back straight at, well, they need to score oh, about three. three in quick, quick succession. Yeah. They even put themselves in 15 range. 15 to go, we'll go 15 to go. It's going to be a task that is beyond them. 20 metres oh. out from the line, just to Pull the back. right of the uprights. PJ Marsh, dummy half. PJ Marsh goes away, holds up the ball for Solomona, looking for a runner. Well, the ball on the deck, is it going to be a Parramatta ball? Mark. It is, dived this on by line, Nathan Hindmarsh on the 20 metre line. Up to play the football, they go away to the right to Drew. Uh, Drew's going to kick over the top and it's knocked into the end goal area and dived on and pressed dead, I think by a Newcastle Knight hand in McDougall. And I think he's going to secure the, uh, the goal line dropout, but they're going to have a look at this in any case, just to see. Because the Knight's hand or, or a Parramatta yeah, hand arrived. It, you it first, mate. And I think you'll find he did. He had a go at it, knocked it backwards, it bounced into the end goal area, and then he's just pressed it there with his hand. Oh, he said he missed it. He's, he might have missed this. This could well be a Parramatta try if, I think in fact, a try to Jamie Lyon. Jamie Lyon has scored. I think scored. it will be a try to Jamie Lyon. He took it very, very lethargically there. And is it knocked on by Jamie Lyon? No, he hasn't played at it. Is he going to get the ball? And, no, he doesn't. Yeah, yes, he does. And then a Newcastle player comes there. We'll have another look at it. I think on the simultaneous ballot, touchdown. Simultaneous touchdown will be a try to Parramatta. But McDougal's missed it. Now Lyon is trying to get the ball under control. He hasn't played at it. Here he goes. Now I think I think Robbie O'Davis got there in the nick of time. Oh, hang on. I think Robbie O'Davis' hand is there. Oh, I think it's before. simultaneous. Hang well, hang on. Is there a margin? Watch this, Wilco. Lyon was going to get it. Robbie O'Davis comes. I think he touches the ball just before Jamie Lyon. He may well go for the simultaneous touchdown. That's right. not the angle you want. That is not the angle you want. You want to see jo Robbie O'Davis coming from the other side. And for our Might people at home listening there. on the radio, I would say if they're not going to look at Robbie O'Davis' hand, I think they'll award a try. Here we go from the other angle. So it comes down and McDougall, well, amazingly, he hasn't, amazingly he hasn't planted it there beyond uh, the naked eye from a long range. He's had a crack at it, he's missed it. They're trying to find out, no, he's missed the ball. No grounding there, I think that's no grounding, not even the head. Play on. And then uh, there's no grounding from line. His left uh, elbow goes over the ball, it hits his midriff, and then he's, he's sliding past the ball, it hits his knee, and there he's gonna plant. No, I think he, no, uh, Davis. I think uh, uh, Davis got a finger on it before oh, Jamie Lyon. Oh, he gets a try. I think they'll probably award it, Wilco, but he got his finger on it before Jamie Lyon. Don't be a try. They'll rule simultaneous and they'll say try, but I think there was a yeah. margin. Well, but I don't have a real problem with it. The Parramatta are going to be uh, scoring this try, which i tell you what. 28-10 it'll be Wilco and it's scored way out on that eastern side of the field so that the conversion will come from touch. Bottom up, video referee, decision pending, it'll be a try. There it is. <laughs> well, the Eels are, are on the board. 28-10 to 10 with a kick to come. And uh, it'll be a quick kick too from right out of the right because time is of the essence. It ticks away. 14 to go. Luke Burton to strike this and he needs it. They need it. 23 metres out. 23 metres out. Here's Luke Burtz. Hits it towards the uprights. Flat and hard and raises the flags for the Eels. 28 to 12. 16 the difference and 14 to go. The Knights prevail 28 to 12 over the Parramatta Eels. We'll go sideline for Green Hot Water. Daryl Brayman. What about the caller today? He hasn't got one wrong in seven years. Predicted Newcastle by 10 or 14. He's a genius. He might get the light. Stay behind. Stay behind. <laughs> Who was that, Daryl? The, the caller call we, had, we had a call. Oh, that's right. Newcastle 10 by 14. 10 or 14. All right. Between 10 and 14, didn't you say? That's right. There's the kickoff. As it was a David. Could have been David. Here you go, the uh, Eels again, running it from inside their own zone as they have to. That's and uh, the Knights uh, defending. 13 to go. They're a long way in front. You couldn't see them in a month of Sunday. Knights losing it from here. They get a penalty, though, the Eels. Oh. Six one the penalty count. Parramatta lead the penalty count. 6-1. Brad Drew quickly takes the kick. Yep. He finds touch. 10 metres short of the halfway. They're not going to go down wondering, are they? They're not going to leave anything in the bag, Wilco. Here we go. A final 12 and a half minutes. They trail by 16. Parramatta spin the ball wide. They're going to take chance yep, after up, chance. 
And they're 11 metres from the halfway line. Middle of the field, the Eels. And PJ Marsh, they move it up the centre of the ruck. Switch of play. Back to PJ Marsh again. He's jammed up by Andrew Johns. He saw him coming and said, uh, thank you very much. Have this. And now they go. Uh, uh, Johns dives again and makes a tackle with Kennedy, the dynamic duo on Ian Hindmarsh. And they keep searching for a, an opening in the ruck. And I tell you what, they're probing relentlessly. 40 metres out from the line. Uh, the Eels attacking. Uh, here goes Drew losing it. And it's on the deck and that might well be it. They needed to score off the back and not make any mistakes and Josh Perry takes it up to the 40, keeps it alive. Oh, Davis on the back of it, gets out to the halfway line That's and the, the Knights will just cool things down here. 11.50 to go on Knights the Sunday Knights Telegraph Knights scoreboard. Knights the Knights 28, the Eels 12, Back they're up to the 40 Knights metre Knights line. But reflecting yeah. on this game, it'll be the first half that's cost them enormous time when they conceded four and couldn't score one when they had three chances. They go down the left side via Kennedy. Kennedy's three. driven to the turf, 28 metres out from the line. Five in from touch on the left. Here's McDougal now barrowing himself in the opposition. It's that another power pack performance marker. from McDougal. He's 16 out from the line. They go to the shorter side to John Scrubbers to the in goal area and it's tapped off the leg. Off. Dead is a touch in goal. Yes, by Brett Hodson, real to have played at the ball. And then a drop out from the centre of the goal line. The John's not happy. Played at it for sure, Wilco. Played, played at it for sure. Brett Hodson's Set. played at the Stay ball. Line. It was a great kick there by Andrew Johns. As a result, a line drop out. They're going to have to go for the short line drop out. They do through Brad Drew. Will Watch it go in. 10? I don't think so. And it's a penalty right in front. Penalty right in front. It'll be two points, Wilco. And we'll use valuable, valuable time here. So they'll slow things up nicely. Where... Ten and three quarter minutes away from full time now. The Knights 28, Parramatta 12 on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard. And that is the type of thing the that leg. they just cannot afford. You're shielding it and shielding and Watson now arguing the toss about the fact that there was yeah. a line drop out. He thinks like it should have been the 20 minute tap. Protect it. And he also he also played at it with his hands and yeah. he was in the motion of going for the ball. Exactly. He was not only shadowing the ball, he was in the motion of going for the ball. Andrew Johns from right in front will add the extras. And that will mean he was only six points away now from Ivan Cleary's premiership scoring record in the season. Well, now John's from in front. That's another little slideshow there to this game. How far away? Six points. Six points when he kicks this. From in front, Andrew Johns. Pokes it between the uprights. There it is. Darrell Braven on the sideline for Reem Hotwater. Just a fantastic performance from the big guns for the Newcastle Knights tonight. Andrew Johns again. Has best just been superb. We just run out, run out of superlatives for him. He is a genius. Ben Kennedy, outstanding. And they've been joined by 15 other Knights players. What about the party at Marathon tonight? Oh! What's a cab cost to get up there? I'm going. <laughs> Good on you, Daryl. 20 metres from halfway. Look, they're ball playing. They know they've got it in the bag now. Nine minutes to go. And uh, the Parramatta side, uh, well, they need to pull out a Queensland State of Origin sort of performance for two tries in a few minutes, but uh, it ain't going to happen. And they're a metre away from halfway, the Knights. Middle of the field, and Robbie O. Davis gives it a ball away to pass and steamrolling forward, taking players with him there. Without the ball, the Eels, and without the ball, they can't add further points. Almost a forward pass from dummy half, Baderas to Johns to Kennedy, motoring down that left side again with power. Tackle 32 out from the goal line. Scooped up it is from dummy half. Johns tries a field goal and it's going to angle across the face to the right and go dead. Restart from the centre of the 20 metre line. Sure 30 to 12. 18 the difference. The Knights over the Eels in the grand final of 2001. And it looks as though this Eels yeah, campaign, a year when they've lost one of the last Marcus 22 matches, is going to end disappointingly so on a first half which was mediocre in their on, eyes brilliant from the Knights 12 metres from the halfway line here goes Drew scuttling forward again to the halfway line Three, there was none back. of this in the first half they were not allowed to on the halfway line Josh, the ball Josh, is to be played PJ Marsh feeds it away to Butner. Butner goes on his own Butner almost through the offload the miracle offload that was needed play, doesn't arrive play. as Hein Marsh Ian flew down the right without it and now PJ steals 15-20 accelerates still going turns it inside they're in to score by Jamie Lyon under the crossbar the Parramatta side brilliant and with seven and a half to go are oh, they hit back here and they're going to be two converted tries behind with seven and a half minutes to go in this game
PJ Marsh. He's going to the New Zealand Warriors. Hasn't he had a good game? What an impact since PJ Marsh and Brad Drew have been the half and hooker combination. They've got a lot better. A bad miss from Mark Hughes. Mark Hughes went for the shoulder charge. He missed. Ben Kennedy came from behind, but looming up was Jamie Lyon. Jamie Lyon had confidence in PJ Marsh, and the try was scored. It's been converted, so with seven minutes to go, it's the Knights 30, Parramatta 18 on the Sunday Telegraph scoreboard. Two converted tries, seven minutes. The, the attendance here tonight, 90,414. 90,414. Daryl Broman and myself were at the Westpac Trust Stadium over in Wellington, and we witnessed about... 16 it. points in seven minutes, so I'm not going to totally discount it. Although in a grand, <laughs> you already have. <laughs> I know. In a grand final, I'm going to say it just would not happen. Well, and Andrew Johns will control things with his kicking yet again. There's Bella retrieving the kickoff. Well, they're uh, they're going down the shorter side. Here they go, raging away. Nathan Hindmarsh tackle 15 from halfway, 30 to 18. And Parramatta, well, is there a miracle in the wind or not? They're going to throw the passes out wide. Here's Solomona switching in the middle of the field. Tackle eight metres from halfway by Andrew Johns again, along with Billy Peden. And now they weave away. They keep the ball alive. Who's the runner hitting the ball? Knock one in a hole, and so no gain in the ground. And they're on halfway as Hodgson. And tackled uh, going without the ball was Nathan Hindmarsh. Here's Nathan Kalis now steaming forward on oh, the offload. It's Wagon and he knocks it on. They all have to stick there. And that could well be it, although we've been giving it away many, many times. Daryl Broman, six to go, 12 the difference. Yeah, they can't get out of this now, really. That was a desperate move. Michael Vell has just been taken off, which does surprise me. I reckon he's been their best player in the second half, Michael Valor. He's taken the bit between his teeth, and he has absolutely charged into this night. No, outfit, something they could Barry have done with in the opening 40. Yeah, absolutely. No, well, mate, the uh, no scrum is going to be David. fed 12 no, the difference. Right, 30 to 18, 5 no, minutes, David. 50 seconds to go. Uh, the Parramatta comeback has uh, had moments of brilliance too, but they I could just be lamenting the, uh, the missed opportunities and uh, the missed tackles in the first half, and the Knights set it up. They had it in the bag at half time and they lead by 12 now and Parramatta need the football. They need some magic and they need two bits and uh, it's just they're not, not going to happen. They're not going to get it, Lord, because the Knights are desperate. It's been at least a gutsy comeback by the Parramatta side in the second half but Newcastle didn't give them enough scraps in the first half, didn't give them any width. Here goes Johns, running, turning it inside. Big hole there for Abraham. He's almost over the 20. He is. 18 out, caught low down by Solomona. Last tackle now. Johns, he's going to hook a bomb into the middle of the field. It's dangerous. Brilliantly taken by Ian Hindmarsh. He's almost rolled behind the goal line. Has he lost the ball there? No, he plays it on the goal line. And the referee's going to have a look at this. It'll be a line dropout. They're going to say line dropout. That'll be the safe ball. Knock on, he knocked it on. Knock on, so that's an even better result. It'll be a Newcastle feed and they clap. The Newcastle players were wondering what was going to happen. Now Andrew Johns from the scrum base gets a chance here to dash score a try converted and be the all-time leading well, point scorer in the on. season. He's knocked it backwards. No wait, no wait, no wait, no push. Scrum feed to Newcastle, 10 out on the Parramatta line, four and a half to go. And uh, here goes Johns whipping the ball to McDougal. McDougal holding it up. It's sort of a no mistake zone here. They've uh, got to be cool, the Knights, to secure this premiership. They're second, but the first in the, the, uh, the double, although slightly constricted competition. Seven metres away from the goal line they are. The ball now goes to Billy Putin. Well, he's facing a hat-trick, Bill Putin. Can he get in? No, not on this occasion. Now Johns has the ball in hand, turns it inside. Oh. And no way through for the man with the football. And they go back for a field goal now to O'Davis. He measures it, picking it up on the bounce after it went three metres behind him. He Five recovers miles. the ground to be tackled about 15 Five out. Grief was the on. man with the oh, earlier oh, run. Now. And now they look for Johns in front. And Johns is going to stab the field goal from in front this time. And the referee rules, no, he's missed we it to the right. He's missed it to the right. I don't think Johns back can believe line, it there. Uh, well, uh, they're up on, in his face. I just don't know whether that's the right option. I mean, you can say, oh, well, it's one, two, one point. One, I think they're up. concentrating on that too much. They should be taking the ball to the line. Parramatta is ready to be put to sleep. Well, uh, still 12 points right now, the difference, like three minutes to go. Parramatta's only hope is to score in this set. 
12 metres from the halfway line. They go now to Kalis. Gives the ball away to Taylor. They've got numbers out wide. And finally the ball goes to Lyon. Lyon runs. He kicks downfield and the chase is on. O'Davis and Moody. O'Davis and Moody. O'Davis dives and secures possession five metres out from his own line. It was a cool O'Davis. He holds the groin. And that'll be it. And the Knights fans are getting ready to vibrate. They're getting ready to raise the roof of Marathon after they've raised the roof of Homebush because this has been an emphatic victory for the Knights. They won in 97 and now they're going to cap it off with this win over the minor premiers, the Parramatta Reels. 30 points to 18 they lead with two and a half minutes to go and Glenn Griefs takes them forward over the 20 metre line. Up to play it. Back to Andrew Johns, out to, uh, to Rudder. Rudder takes the line on, shrugs Taylor off, gives it to Gidley, and he's going to be wrapped up about 17 metres short of the halfway line. He's going to play the football. <laughs> Two minutes and nine seconds to go. David, the balls, David. it's a handover, is it, or knocked been on? Stolen. He's stolen. He's stolen. He's stolen, and they were claiming there was two in the tackle. Hang on, what's happening here, Billy? Time out. Is it going to be? It is Can now. Scrum feed here to the Two minutes to go. Side. Bill, tell us the story. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean doing doing game. Game. Yeah. Yeah. When you watch the video, you'll see. Heads down, no way. Scrum feed to Parramatta, in and out, 30 metres out. Here's Butner. Butner attacks, spoons the pass out to line, brilliantly takes it, gives it to Moody on the angle back on the inside. They cover him up, 18 metres out from the goal line. One minute 48 to go. The ball's going to be played. They give it to Wagon. Wagon's going to throw a pass, is he? Wagon jinks forward to the 10 metre line. And he's just in line with the right upright. One and a half to go, even if they score. No time for victory. They go to Kalis, holds it up, gives it to Butner. He's wrapped up 11 metres out from the goal line. And now from dummy half, it's Drew. Drew goes on his own. Drew looking for the runner. There's a cutout pass. Knocked forward by Johns. Picked up by Ian Hindmarsh. He starts them up. He's got to keep it alive. He dies with the ball. 11 out from the line. From dummy half, they go away. Drew again to the line. Loses it out the back. It's still going to be play on. Picked up by Hindmarsh. Hodgson, and Hodgson has just scored the try. Hodgson has scored the try. One minute to go. They're going to have to rush the kick here. And I don't think there'll be time. I don't think there'll be time, but this has been an extraordinary comeback. Hodgson has scored the try. The Knights are out on their feet. 52 seconds, 51 to go. And they're just going to take a registered amount of time for this kickoff. And it will not go beyond this. Oh, incredible game, though, Wilco. Aren't they going to be ruining their first 40 minutes here, 30 to 24, they're going to have 30 seconds, there's Luke Burt, the flags go up, so the Knights 30, Parramatta 24, it's only converted try, have a look at them, they'll be very slow here, Billy will blow time off, you would think, yeah, you'd think they'd have one play, here he goes, they have one cue. play, they have one play, 23 seconds, and so I don't know how many times that's happened throughout the course of the competition, but Bill Harrigan has decided that it should happen on a grand final, but given seven Stay seconds, outside. but you can stop the clock. I don't think so, Bill. It's a long bomb downfield. It's going to be taken by Solomona. He has it behind the goal line. 17 to go. Parramatta, he'll take this tackle Stay now. Up, Parramatta up. need a Stay miracle eight. play from 80 metres. From dummy half, it goes to PJ. PJ gives the ball away to Buchner. Buchner gives the ball away, out to the flank to Moody a little grubber down the edge it's in touch, it's over the Knights win Newcastle win the grand final of 2001 by 30 points to 24 in the end 